Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a cylinder shape with a slab. Um, this clay is not quite as dry as I want it, but that's okay. So, what I did first was I measured out my circle, the size that I wanted. This is my base. Okay, you need to make sure that the um, width is the same width that you put on your planning form, okay? And then I also cut out this piece of paper. Um, <clears throat> If I were to put this around, okay, it would fit with a little extra. Extra is okay, because you can cut it off. If it's not long enough, then you don't have, you're not, you're gonna have a hard time, okay? So this is going to be my template for my um, slab and my base. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is place it on there. And again, I measured this, make sure it was the right. Um, diameter okay and then I also use this piece to go around it to make sure that that was correct as well so all I'm gonna do is take this I'm gonna cut it around the side okay again my clay is a little bit more wet than I want it but I didn't really have time to get it done and if this is not perfect it is okay Okay, so there's my base. And this is easier if you use a ruler. So I'm just gonna set this on the side. I'm gonna hold it down. That helps me create a nice straight line. I'm gonna do that for all my sides. Okay, so now I have, this is gonna be my side. This is not as tall as yours would be just because um, I didn't wanna use that much clay. Okay, so there's one of two ways you can do it, okay? You can wrap it around the edge. Now, if I do that, I'm not gonna really have enough. Okay, so I'm gonna go up on the top of it. I'm gonna go up here and that's where I'm gonna put my slab. So. Same thing as everything else. I'm going to go ahead and slip and score. Okay, and then I need to slip and score the edge of this. Now, when you're doing a cylinder, you kind of want this one a little bit more wet than... Um, leather hard because you want to bend it. So you have to be careful you don't want it to um, crack on you. Okay, so I'm gonna take some slip. Go ahead and put it in that spot. Okay, then I'm gonna take this piece and I actually want um, the side that doesn't have the texture on it because that was from my um, pillowcase. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around. Okay, now I have extra, which is okay. It's better to have extra than not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some off. Okay, still a little too much. A little bit more off. Don't do too much and then you can't put it together. Okay, so I'm just gonna go slowly. Keep cutting a little bit off at a time. Okay. And then I'm going to want to slip and score this seam as well. So I'm gonna come in here in this crack and I'm gonna score it both sides. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some slip right along that 
crease. And then I'm just going to stick it together. Now, um, once we get it all together, we're going to want to put that reinforcing coil in there. So I'm just gonna take some clay. Okay, you're gonna have to go ahead and yours will probably be whiter than this one. Put it in there in the crease and you have to blend it together. Okay, I'm also gonna do that for this outside piece. Well, you can do one of two things. You can add a coil, okay? Or you can also come in and blend it like this. Okay, you're also gonna wanna blend the bottom, kinda push it down. Okay, blend it all together. Be careful with it. Okay, so a little bit of crack there, I gotta be careful. Okay, so then once I kind of get it all together, this one's pretty squishy right now. I'm gonna add a coil along this crack here just to reinforce it. That way I know it stays. Okay, and then I can take a rib and smooth everything out. Okay, so I have my basic shape. I have to go in and blend that coil on the inside. Okay, and I'm gonna take a metal rib. Okay, and I'm just gonna come in and bend my metal rib and I'm going to blend all this together so it's nice and straight. Okay, we want it nice and uniform. Okay, making sure I get that bottom base and I blend it up with my slab on the side. Okay, so come in and just blend it out. Make sure my top is nice and smooth. Okay, and I also wanna make sure that coil on the inside is nice and blended in. Okay, and then now I have my cylinder shape that was made out of a slab, okay? So this one you have to do with a little bit more wet than the one I was showing you before because this one you're bending your slab and you don't want it to crack.